Hey, Bukins, it's me, Keisha, a.k.a. Color Me Pink, and I am here with my Real Housewives of New Jersey Season 13 Reunion Looks Fashion Killer Review. I drop videos Monday through Sunday. Everything that I say is for entertainment purposes only, not to be taken seriously or literally, meaning my jokes and jones. So if that works for you, let's get into this Fashion Killer Review. First up, we have Dolores, honey, Dolores. I like Dolores hair. She has kind of like a little bit of a side part with some brushed out curls. She has on some uh, drop earrings that are kind of like a cross shape, a little cute necklace. I don't really feel like the necklace was necessary, but mm, it's cute. The dress is this really pretty powder blue um, nude kind of illusion type of dress. It has like the nude um, paneling on the sides. I like the dress. It's very princess. It's very pretty. It has these little flower appliques going down the front of the dress. And then she has on a strappy ankle strap heel. I hate the shoes. These shoes are not giving at all. The dress, I actually like it. I think that it's going to look really pretty under the lights on set. Um, I think that Dolores looks really pretty. I like her makeup. This look is very clean and simplistic. It's not doing too much. It's straight to the point. She looks like a princess. That's all I can really say. Like, she looks really pretty. So I'm going to give Dolores a fashion killer. Next up, we have Danielle and good Googa Mooga. What is this? Oh, my word. Where did she get this? ugly ass dress from she had to have mad this made because i refuse to believe that she went to anybody's boutique or store and got this off of anybody's rack let's start with the hair she has her hair parted down the middle in the front she has it like the front pieces swooped to the back and then she kind of has a little bit of a hump in the top and then the rest of the hair is you know going behind the shoulders <clears throat> the hair is cool you know it's kind of giving me like stately I'm going to the royal wedding type of hairstyle she has on some drop earrings she has a bronzed face this pose is just giving me shoulders <laughs> head shoulders knees and toes knees and toes like she don't need to pose like this ever again she looks like she's posing for one of them body competitions that Teresa did years ago like this pose is not that deal um this dress is just god awful the patterns it's purple it, it, it got this purple cheap what is this it looks like uh, purple tutu material i don't know what this is it looks like a robe attached to the back of the dress the purple don't even match the purple in the front of the dress. This is just ugly. It looks like somebody Meemaw curtains. Like, I don't know what this is, but it is God awful ugly. I don't like the horns coming up the top of the dress. It's like they cloaks and daggers. I don't know what in the medieval times this is, but Danielle, you and your dress look a fool. Roll kill. Melissa Gorga is stunning in this really pretty, like, cobalt blue sequin dress. I love this dress. It actually has a hood on it, and I actually love it even more with the hood up. This is giving me Little Red Riding Hood, the Crips version. <laughs> I love it. Melissa looks fabulous in this dress. I don't know who made this for her, but she looks phenomenal. I love that she wore really cute tiny earrings. The face is beat to perfection. She has on some uh, diamond or like silver, silver bangle bracelets and a whole bunch of rings. It's fitting her body beautiful. I love that it like flows down to the ground in like a mermaid kind of like trumpet style dress. This is everything. Yes, Melissa. This has got to be like one of my favorite looks from, for Melissa for a reunion. Fashion killer. Margaret is up here in a dress that she looked like she got from David's Bridal. 
No. No. It's too childish. It's too juniorish. This looks like something that one of Teresa's girls are wearing to a school dance, to a prom. Absolutely not. I do not like the bottom of the, the dress, the skirt part with all of these ruffle panels going down. I don't like the top part. It just looks childish. It looks like this is a dress that a 16 year old will wear and not a 60 something year old woman. Her bun is not done really well to me. It looks like she did it herself. Um, I am not feeling the dark black eyeliner on Marge. I'm just not feeling this at all. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. She looked like she literally could have gotten this dress from like Fashion Nova. Like, no, Marge, roll kill. Rachel Fuda is giving us Belle from Beauty and the Beast, and I don't like it. I I just wish that these girls would stop going to Miss Ann down the street that make prom dresses to get their reunion looks done. Can y'all please go to a store and buy something off of a rack? Because these people be playing y'all and making y'all look crazy. Like, this is just not that deal. It's too much going on. What is this paper mache napkin <laughs> on her one shoulder? Then you got this rhinestone applique going around the midsection like a belt. Then you got the, the main part of the dress is satin. Then you got another part of the skirt that's like, a uh, what is this material? I don't even know what type of rayon, taffeta. I don't even know. What is this? It looks like you're about to go flamingo dancing. Why do you have all this extra fabric? giving you a whole nother skirt. This is just, it's all over the place. And it just looks so cheap. And it looks like it was made in somebody's basement. Now, I'll give it to her. I love her hairstyle. I think her hair and her makeup looks really, really pretty. But this dress is just abysmal. It could have been really cute because I actually somewhat like this yellow color. But girl, this dress looks flammable. Like, I want one of the candlesticks <laughs> from Beauty and the Beast to come set your ass on fire because this dress is horrendous. Roll kill. You can't tell me that Jennifer Aiden didn't just walk off the set of Dynasty. <laughs> Where is she going with this old ass looking dress on? This looks like something that Jackie Kennedy would have worn in the 60s when she was Mrs. President. What is, what is, what? It's not an ugly dress. It's not. It's really pretty. Um, but it just looks throwback. It literally looks throwback. It looks way too old for Jennifer. This looks like something Jennifer's mother should be wearing. It's not made bad. I like the cobalt blue color, but these appliques, if y'all don't stop letting these seamstress go to Hobby Lobby <laughs> and pick up these appliques and glue them onto these dresses. Like, y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop with this. It's madness. Um, I'm zooming in on Jennifer's makeup. I hate it. Those eyebrows are way too dark. Um, you can see her nose contour. I can't really tell what's going on with the hair. It looks like she has a ponytail, which is fine. The earrings are cool. But I just think that she looked like an old lady. She looked like she is the mother of the bride. And I'm offended. She looked like she going to the White House Correspondents Dinner. Like, no, I'm gonna give her a fashion fine. Let's take a look at Jackie because this will be our last time seeing her. <laughs> Yeah, girl, you weren't even, even featured in the season finale. This was your last season. You will not be back as a friend next season nor as a housewife. It was good while it lasted. Uh, Jackie's hair, she has a side part with some flips. It's cute. I do not like Jackie's makeup. I don't like the smoky eye. I don't care for the earrings. The dress, it's cute. You know, it's just a little wrap dress with a, you know, bias cut at the... Um, neckline you know she has on some strappy heels with it 
it's cute. It's giving me cocktail dress. It might look better on camera, but I doubt Jackie gets that much camera time for us to really get into her look. She looks nice. Do I think that it's like reunion worthy? No, I think that this is something she could have filmed in. But she looks cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm not obsessed with it. So I'm going to give Jackie, I'm going to give her a fashion killer because it's not ugly. Then Fessler came, honey, with her new face looking like a whole new woman. I don't know if y'all got the chance to see her when she was on Watch What Happens Live. But Jen got a facelift and Jen looked phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, I don't know how I feel about the weave that she did. Um, it does make her look more younger and youthful. Um, the facelift makes her look way younger than how she looked during the season. So kudos to her for that. Um, she's lost weight too as well. I don't know if she was doing Ozempic or not, but probably was. This dress, however, I don't like it. Don't like it. I don't like it. It's piss yellow. It's satin. I don't know what this belt is going around the middle. I don't like the way it's cut on the skirt. Her hair and makeup look really cute. Body's on point, but the dress is a no bueno. So I'm going to give Jen Fessler a, hmm, I'm going to give her a fashion fine. And lastly, we have the star of the show, Teresa Judice Rios, whatever her new name is. <sighs> Um, body is on point. The hair, you know, Teresa got a real thick hairline. Um, is this supposed to be like a faux bob? It looks like she's supposed to have like a faux bob. I actually like her hair. I like the makeup. Teresa needs to lay off the lip fillers though. Enough of that. Enough of that. Her makeup and her hair is cute. The dress. Let's get into this dress. It's see-through. <laughs> As you can see. Um, I don't know if the panty and bra that is built in is white. If it is, I have a big problem with that because why is it white? Why was it not yellow like the dress? If it is yellow, it's not reading yellow. And it literally just looks like she has on panties, like panties from her house. It just doesn't look right. It doesn't look like, I think how she envisioned it to look. It literally looks like you could just see through her dress and see her underwear. It's not giving that, you know, panty and bra underwear type look that we've seen other celebrities wear. Uh, the material of the main part of the dress, the see-through fabric, I actually don't mind it. I actually think that it's, you know, pretty. It looks like something that you get from the fabric store. You know, it's obvious somebody made this for her. Once again, I'm not understanding why everybody got these capes draped around they waist like what is up with that is it I know it's supposed to be an Irish themed um reunion so does this have anything to do with Ireland I'm really not understanding why everybody got these capes on their ass like what is going on um that satin material did not need to be there if the dress was just without this satin material taped on to her ass it really would have been nice. And then, like I said, if the 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 undergarments would have been different. I think Teresa looks nice. I really love her hair and her makeup and her body is on point. But this dress, child, is just, is, 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 oh God, it's disrespectful. <laughs> it's disrespectful. I can't wait to see this on camera because in photographs, it's just, it's giving homemade. It's giving Project Runway juniors at that i'm gonna give Teresa a fashion fine because she looks great but this dress woo! okay t squad it's that time for my fashion killer roll kill awards so my fashion killer award for the real housewives of new jersey season 13 reunion goes to Melissa Gorga. I think that she just looked dreamy. I love this look. It's so fashion forward. I can see like an A-list celebrity wearing something like this on the red carpet. She looks so chic and glamorous. That hood, honey, did it for me. A plus, tens across the boards. She did the dang on thing. And my roadkill kill for the Real Housewives of New Jersey season 13 reunion goes to... 
Danielle, this by far was the worst of the reunion. Like, <laughs> I don't know if everybody got their dresses made by the same person, meaning like Teresa. It looked like Teresa, Danielle, maybe Rachel, maybe Jen all got their dresses made from the same person. And that person does not like y'all. <laughs> That person took y'all thousands of dollars and played the mess out of all of y'all. But Danielle got played the most because she looked horrific. Y'all let me know which reunion looks were your favorite, which ones were your least favorite. Let's talk down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.